The universe is immense. It is filled with billions of galaxies, each with billions of stars. It is a place of incredible beauty and complexity. But could it also be a place of thought? Could the universe itself be alive? It is an idea that has captivated philosophers and scientists for centuries. The idea that the universe is not simply a collection of matter and energy, but a thinking and sensitive entity. A cosmic consciousness that permeates all things. What if the very fabric of reality is woven from threads of consciousness? Could our thoughts and dreams be echoes of this cosmic mind? Could we, in some way, be connected to the consciousness of the universe? These are profound questions. Questions that challenge our understanding of the universe and our place in it. The idea of a conscious universe is not new. Ancient cultures often viewed the cosmos as a living being. They saw the sun, moon, and stars as divine entities. They believed that the universe was permeated with a spiritual essence. The Greek philosopher Plato believed in a world soul. This soul, he argued, was the source of all life and intelligence in the universe. Centuries later, the Italian philosopher Giordano Bruno echoed this idea. He imagined an infinite universe full of life and consciousness. These early thinkers recognized a deep connection between humanity and the cosmos. They saw the universe as a reflection of ourselves, and ourselves as reflections of the universe. His ideas, though often dismissed as mere mythology, continue to resonate with us today. They remind us that the universe is full of mystery and wonder. Today, some theoretical physicists are exploring the possibility of a conscious universe through the lens of science. One of these theories is string theory. String theory suggests that the universe is made of tiny vibrating strings. These strings, much smaller than atoms themselves, are the fundamental building blocks of reality. Some physicists believe that these vibrating strings could be the source of consciousness. They propose that the universe is not just a vast network of strings, but a vast network of information. And information, they argue, is the basis of consciousness. Imagine the universe as a symphony. Each vibrating string plays a note, and together they create a great cosmic melody. This melody, this symphony of strings, could be the very essence of the universe's consciousness. It's a mind-blowing concept. But if it were true, it would mean that consciousness is not limited to living beings. It would mean that consciousness is woven into the very fabric of the universe. Section 4. As above, so below. The human brain is a marvel of complexity. It contains billions of neurons, interconnected in a vast network. These connections allow us to think, feel, and experience the world around us. But what if the universe itself is structured like a giant brain? Consider the similarities between a neuron and a galaxy. Both are interconnected nodes within a vast network. Both transmit information through complex signals. Could it be that the universe is organized according to similar principles, just on a much larger scale? This idea, known as the holographic principle, suggests that the universe is a hologram. Just as a hologram can encode a three-dimensional image on a two-dimensional surface, the information of the universe can be encoded on a distant two-dimensional boundary. If the universe is a hologram, then every part of the universe contains information about the whole. And if information is the key to consciousness, then one could say that every part of the universe possesses a spark of cosmic consciousness. Section 5. A Mirror of the Cosmos Humans have long searched for meaning and purpose in the universe. We look at the stars and wonder if we are alone. We reflect on the mysteries of existence and seek answers to life's big questions. But what if the answers we seek are not out there in the vastness of space, but within ourselves? What if the human mind is a microcosm of the cosmic mind? Could our thoughts and emotions be reflections of the universe's own thoughts and emotions? Some believe that the human mind is capable of accessing a universal consciousness. Through meditation, prayer, or simply connecting with nature, we can access a deeper level of consciousness. We can access the source of all knowledge and wisdom. 
This idea has been explored by mystics and spiritual teachers throughout history. They teach that by quieting the mind and connecting with our inner self, we can connect with the divine. We can experience the unity of all things.